You and Chris are going to be in here talking about God knows what. So when people ask me, but why don't you video your tape your programs? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be near as fun. Uh, <laughs> there's reasons. Let me just go ahead and say there's reasons. All right. Hi, folks. Welcome to the podcast. This is this is the retro show. I'm joined as always by uh, my buddy, my partner in crime, the best man at my wedding. I was. Chris yeah. Curtis. <laughs> this crowd is awesome. They are. <laughs> they love you, man. Why do you have such disdain for them? Ah, uh, well, you know what? They need to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've turned into my father. I've turned, yeah. <laughs> New hippies need to get a job. <laughs> you didn't get a job. It's funny. My dad, bless his heart, never realized that hippies didn't really survive past the mid 70s and so he, I mean, he'd see somebody with long hair like in the night hippies and i went, no dad they're not uh, that, that's actually chris's brother he's in a rock and roll band yeah it's actually that's actually monty <laughs> he's got an earring yeah but it's in his left ear so you know <laughs> back off um but, but again folks this is the retro show if you've made it here then welcome man we're glad to have you yep uh we are a uh, podcast obviously but this is going to be one of those episodes that is an enhanced podcast on spotify what does that mean that means if you are a spotify subscriber you will be able to hear every bit of music that we're going to be talking about uh, on this podcast so spoiler alert this is a music podcast but if you're not well, that's okay, too, because, you know... It, we'll still let you in. We're still going to let you in. <laughs> it's still going to sound... It's it's still going to be fun, and you're still going to get maybe get some good ideas to build your own playlist next time you road trip. Yep. And uh, we love road trips. You and I have been on some road trips together. We have. We have. Uh, I remember uh, we went... Like, we've already talked about this, but the last one we went on, we went to Tulsa to see a concert. Uh, you know what? That's four hours. I, is that really a road trip? Well... Yeah, because we had to stop. Look, here's In here's. Clarksville. But see, here's my <laughs> definition of a road trip. If you got to stop and pee on the way, it's officially a road trip. Well, you mean when I go across town now, it's a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's called being in your mid fifties. Yeah, that really sucks. doesn't count. Yeah, it's like I know I shouldn't have drank uh, that I last got, glass of tea. I know I got to <laughs> pull off in here now. And the people that come and go, they know me. Uh, you gotta hear my wife. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. Again? Really? What is it? I'm like, I'm not a camel like you. I don't <laughs> know how the hell you do it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but if you've, but it, it is the season for road trips and, uh, and family vacations, and we want to help you along because uh, eventually when we get through chasing rabbits and everything else, we're going to get to uh, some of our favorite uh, road trip songs. Because to me, man, you got to have tunes on a road trip. You can't just go. I mean, what are you going to do? Sit there and look at each other? No. You got to have some music playing, man. I got to kick this off. Okay. I do, and I have a statement. If you're going on like a really long road trip and you've been looking forward to it for a while, say you're going to the Redneck Riviera, which is a good nine hour drive. Uh, depending it means on the where you Gulf go. of Mexico, yeah. for those of you who don't know. Well, the Redneck Riviera consists of um, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Perdido Key, Fort Walton, yep. Panama City. Down to Panama City. Destin. Yep. Destin. Yep. Ooh, de that's highfalutin there, man. Well, Destin, that, <laughs> Destin it, it is now, but back in the day, you know, Destin I, was. You know was, what? If you were a kid, though, you went to Fort Walton. You didn't go to Destin. I yeah. don't know why that was. I went to Panama City. Was my first trip. That was my. Go. That was my first trip. And I, you know, I I didn't go on my senior trip with my class. I went with my first cousin. Who we're the same. We're two months apart, and he's like my brother. Mm -hmm. um, Babe, if you're out there listening, which I know you are, um, I love you, man. And that was a great trip. Um, but it was Panama City. How it old were you? Eighteen. I mean, we just oh, graduated. You were I was literally that your first used time to go to the beach. No, I mean, it was the first time I'd gone without 
Without the folks. Okay, but, supervision. Oh, oh, I know what you mean now. I, I The first time I ever saw the ocean, I, I remembered this because it, it, it's one of those special trips that was uh, it's, it's kind of etched into my brain. And I was eight years old. I just turned eight. And Dad, uh, who was still in practice as the, at, at the time as a veterinarian, uh, had a... It was like a working vacation, and now I now I know it was a tax write off. But in my head, you know, it was just a, it was a vacation. So, so out to Farmer Jim's pasture to well, uh, inoculate he, cows is a vacation. Well, he had a, <laughs> kind of he 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 had this friend of his, and and I remember this guy. This guy had been a friend of mom and dad's for for years. Is a guy named John Lieb, and he lived in uh, South Georgia. And he had a, and he was hired to run a dairy farm. So he had dad come out to kind of consult on some stuff. So I'm pretty sure dad made some money on that trip. Yeah. And it was also maybe a tax write off because he's like, hey, I'm just going to bring everybody with me. So planned into this after we got through spending some time on this dairy farm, and he, I had a great time. You know, it was a it, it 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 was all new to me. So you were on the Atlantic side, or did y'all go to the Gulf? Oh no, we we ended up going to the Gulf. Did you? Uh, yeah, we ended up driving uh, because this was South uh, West Georgia. How old were you? Eight. Eight. Yeah, and we ended up going to Panama City Beach, and it was like one of the highlights of my young life. It was different back then too. Panama City looked totally different now. It was oh, like, holy it, it, crap. It, it was not built up then. Place? It was just beautiful. Yep. And we had the best time. The the uh, what, you know, the uh, surf was maybe 4 foot. You know, it, it was not bad. It was it was a, just a great time. Uh, you know, and it was and, and I remember it was right before school started. So it was you know, peak hurricane season, but luckily yep. nothing was blowing in at the we time. We ended up traveling with my dad. He was a he was a salesman for a big floral company and um loaded up a starcraft camper i was like five years old and his territory was north and south carolina and georgia and so we traveled up and down the coast oh yeah on the atlantic so that was my first experience with the ocean yeah um and you know things that were going on then and you look back on it's like holy crap what were we thinking yeah anything um but it was man, it was it was a cool experience. For yeah, sure. it was our first time. To, but what to I go. was going to say is, if you're going on a long road trip, your very first song in the player has got to be "Born to Be Wild" by Steppenwolf. That's a great choice. <laughs> just just yeah, number great... one, pulling out of the driveway, <laughs> get your motor running. Head out on the highway. I mean, I don't. It, it pumps you up. I don't know. Yeah, why. it does. It, that, that's a great. <laughs> that's a great way to kick off this list. Uh, that that is a good one to to to, to get going. Definitely. And, and see, I I have a criteria. A, a criteria. A criteria. A criteria. <laughs> and I'm supposed to go to the doctor and get it looked at tomorrow. But no, I have a criteria for a road trip song. It's got to be up tempo. You can't yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, you you can't. can't throw in. You know, you can't bring your playlist up, and then all of a sudden, you light up my life. Oh my you know, Lord. no, you can't do that. I don't even want that when I'm trying to take a no, nap. No, you can't I do that anyway. Why, but I don't. No, no, because first of all, if you listen to too much of that, you're just going to go. I can't take it anymore, <laughs> and you're going to like just go right off the edge of the bridge. You know, <laughs> splash. Let me tell you something. What man. happened? Debbie Boone killed him. That's what happened. <laughs> Let me tell you something that'll make you go off the bridge. You know the causeway in Mobile. Yeah. Oh, so it's it's very long, and mm-hmm. once you get on it, you, by God, you're on it. You're yeah. on it. You know, yeah, you, there ain't no getting off. Cannon is about to turn two. That's and his we son. We were folks. going to Panama City with my mother. She yep. had a timeshare or something. We were going down there and spend the weekend, and we got in the middle of that causeway, and there was a wreck on the other end, and he was out of milk. Oh no! And oh, I just kept looking at the water, going, "It would be so easy." <laughs> just to jump in, <laughs> just to jump in and not come back. Everybody, just close crying. your eyes. It's all going to be yeah. over in just a little bit. No, I mean I wouldn't have killed anybody else. I was just thinking of just ending my misery. Just, 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 just pull it off on the side, throwing Cindy the yeah, keys and yeah. jumping. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, dude. There's nothing oh, yeah, like man. There's, a kid can hit a pitch that when oh, they're mad. There's nothing you can. There's do. There's nothing you can do about oh, it. Oh my god. Okay, I have another song for you, man. Tell me. Uh, September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Man, that is a great tune. 
I, I mean, I crank that tune every time it's on. You can't help but not you can't. crank that tune. That is just a great song. And, man, it's just got, like I said, it's up-tempo. Yep. It's very positive, and which I love. And, you know, it's, it's, just, a good, it's just a good road trip song. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw an uh uh not just a song I'm gonna throw an album in for all you folks that are out there and and you're probably not gonna get this on the enhanced version you may get a song but I don't think you, you'll get they'll, the whole they'll album. probably get a song so. <laughs> but um a, a good friend of mine that we we both grew up with um, he ended up moving away when we were fixing to start tenth grade Chad Boyd yeah. Um, Chad Chad grew up ended up growing up in Texas and he went to um, Stephen F Austin and then he went to Texas Tech uh, to get his doctorate. But he told me at one time he said, "You two Joshua Tree, yeah, the whole album." And he's oh, it's right. Great. He's right. That whole album. Well, go ahead and pick us a song off there because we're going to enhance that. Uh, without a doubt, it's um, "Where the Streets Have No Name." That song is to me. I, I love that song. Love it. Are that you? is a fantastic song. I mean, are are you are you familiar with the video? Oh yeah, the video yeah. is so cool. It's These really These guys, cool. man, they 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 set up on top of a liquor store. Well, you know, what it was store? is they kind of did what the Beatles did. On, yeah, uh, yeah, the exact same thing. But they set yeah. up on a liquor store in L.A. and didn't tell anybody, and they just started yeah, jamming. They started and jamming, they, just, and they just, shut uh, traffic down. Yeah, people just showed. Up. <laughs> it's a great video. You need to look that up on YouTube or wherever you get your videos because yep. that is a fantastic song. Yep. Uh, okay, so I have another one here for you. It's actually two songs, but you got to play it as one, and that's Four Play and Long Time" by Boston. That's another. That's another album play that if you get bored with a playlist, another, just yes. throw that in and start to finish. I mean, I'm Butch knows me. I'm real big on an entire album being good and just playing the whole because that's what we grew up doing. That's what we did. Yeah. If you if you you had a choice <laughs> with record players, you rolled the dice because you probably get. <laughs> You scratch. Oh, you're scratching the album, uh, trying to change songs. But you generally just listened to side one and then flipped it over and listened to side two. Yeah. And then when we got into eight tracks, you really just were at the mercy of the eight yeah. track. Yeah, <laughs> you're at the mercy of the eight track and the click change. Uh, so give me another song that you would put for, in there for me. Yeah, um, really and truly, uh, that, that that second Boston album. Don't look back. That's Don't a, look that, back. That, I mean, I'll just stick with Boston. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's a good upbeat song. That again, that whole album's great. I that whole break it. and and that break with the little guitar solo. It's not. <clears throat> here's the thing that I love about that guitar solo. It's not like a hard guitar solo right. or anything like that. He's such but a it, good guitar player. It just works there. Yeah. And it, and do you never not just turn that up to eleven when that. When that break comes in, uh, man, there's a lot of songs I do that with. Cindy just lives with it now because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got another one here in just a minute that starts out slow and ends up just jamming. So yeah. we'll talk about it in a second. Okay, so my next one, uh, let's just get ready to. Uh, and, and like I said, there's some of these things here that you may have never heard of, but I'm put them on. I'm putting them on this list because man, they're just great road trip songs and that is a song by fountains of wayne and it's called bought for a song and i know you've never heard that but when you listen to the playback chris you'll go yeah man that's a good road trip i song. probably have heard it i just don't recognize it right now but that's a really good one and i'm a big fountains of wayne fan uh he is uh, you yeah. are i, I am <laughs> look at me <laughs> Yeah, he is. You He's are. got a Fountains of Wayne shirt on right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, and a pair of Speedos and some flip flops. Oh, but nobody Lord, needs to, to see that. that. Yeah, no, I know. I, <laughs> they don't make brain bleach, but you can't keep telling people that. But yep. but yeah, Fountains of Wayne bought for a song. Great. I, there were some Fountains of Wayne songs that I liked just fine. I, I, that, I wasn't as big a fan as you were. Yeah. Um, but, but this song. I mean, literally, this just happened night before last. Me and Cindy were coming back from somewhere and getting off the interstate, and this song came on, and it played softly until it kicked in, and that's um, "Free Bird" by Leonard Skinner. Oh yeah. I mean, that if y'all have ever not listened to Leonard Skinner, I highly recommend listening to this song because the guitar playing. You have three people playing yeah. different leads, and it is 
unbelievable. Yeah, it really is. And it was cranked to the ceiling, and she just didn't even say anything. She knows. Listen, there's a reason people yell out, Free Bird! (laughs) At a concert. It's not for nothing. It's not for nothing. It's not for nothing. Okay, so my next one is Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. Man, you can't ever go wrong with the Eagles. Now, they've got some slow stuff, but... Life in the fast lane, that's another one that you just crank and it's a go. Crank. It, it, it's a good driving song. And yep. to me, Road Trip Song's got to be a driving song. And man. you can throw Take It Easy in there. Yeah. In the same in the same breath. Um, not that you want to try to play back-to-back on the uh, enhanced version. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um, but, but, but you people could. You yeah. could. You could throw you it in there. You absolutely could. You, you, got any new, uh, you got any other ones you want to? Yeah. And, I, you know, I – I had a list and I accidentally forgot it, but I'm looking at your list and it's very similar. Surrender, cheap trick. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. As far as any list that I make of top five rock songs ever, Surrender makes that list every single time. What movie was that in? That was in Up the Academy. <laughs> I can't believe you knew Thank that. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I win. I don't know what I win, but I win. <laughs> I so. said it's uh, particularly nasty weather that we're having. <laughs> uh, once again, when we ever get to movies that they couldn't make today, Up the Academy, yeah. right there at the top. Uh, but yes, that was in uh, Up the Academy, Surrender by Cheap Trick. That is a great, that is one of my favorite songs. Ever. It is. And I, I actually work security for them. Uh-huh. And... um they're they're really good in concert. Yeah, they, oh, I mean, they, they are. were back in the day. I don't know what they are today. I don't know what they are today, but I know I saw them about twenty years ago, and they were still yeah. they were still Jamming. really good. Yeah. So the next one that I'm going to put uh, off my list that that is just a good driving song is uh, "Flirting with Disaster" by Molly Hatchet. Man, you cannot beat that song. No, I mean literally, even even when it comes on on the new Dukes of Hazard movie, when you know the General <laughs> Lee's coming around, and it, you just uh, yeah. immediately grab the remote and start cranking it up yeah. because it's such a cool. Intro. It's the only time that you'd ever want to watch that movie. But yeah, that's no, a, <laughs> no Jessica Simpson's in that movie. Uh, I remember looking at Cannon when he was a kid, and she's walking down the street in those jeans, and I looked at him and I said, "Son, <laughs> that's a, that's the top of the heap right there." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's that's strong right there, son. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh man! So give us another one, dude. Um, uh, I had it right here. I was looking at it and I lost it. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, running down a dream. Tom running Petty. down. Yeah. Do you remember when we saw Tom Petty not too long ago? You. It's. It's. I've been almost ten years now. Is it? I mean, I say not too long ago, but uh, the years are clipping by. Listen, so. man. Oh, dude. You ain't got to tell me because uh, a bit of wisdom, and, and, and I quote this all the time to people younger than me, that the days are long, but the years are short. Yes, you know, they you'll, are. You'll and have long days, but those years fly by. When you're young, it seems like forever for anything to happen. Mm-hmm. You are can't wait to drive. You can't wait to turn 21. Um as you get older, yeah, they just clip by. They clip by. Quick. But you remember in that concert, I looked. You looked at you, and you said, "This is awesome." And I said, "It will be awesome if he plays Running Down a Dream," and which then, is my absolute yeah. favorite. And he did, and we come unglued. It was yeah. pretty cool. Running Down a Dream. That yeah. is a, a, a that is a fantastic road tripping song for sure. Also on this list uh, that I uh, put on there is uh, uh, by Boz Skaggs, and it's Lido Shuffle. I'm not familiar with that song. I, I mean, I may be, but as far as the title are. goes, you are. You you are familiar with. I'll that listen song. to the. I'll listen to the enhanced version because I have a Spotify membership. available on the Spotify <laughs> app. You know, Spotify's uh, not paying us yet. Huh? It's not what I said. They're not paying us yet. No, they're but, not. But, but yeah. by, by golly, we'll we'll throw it in there. Yeah, for sure. Um. You got to throw this in there, Butch. I, I'm looking at your list, and it was not on my list, but yeah, uh, the Rubber Band Man by the Spinners. Rubber Band Man. <laughs> Listen, what a song. I, lo- I I have playlists for like different things. I can't imagine that. And so, like, <laughs> I have one called Grilling Music that I that when I'm man in the smoker or I'm out there grilling, that it's a playlist. <laughs> that was the first thing I put on there because. I love that song. I have I have the same I have the same thing. I have some some playlist on mine, 
And most of them are just say like Van Halen, which will be all Van Halen yeah. or Grateful Dead. It'll be all Grateful Dead. But I've got one that says special needs and um, it's a melancholy deal. Yeah. So I'll, I'll listen to that and um, usually shed some tears over some folks that are no longer right. here. So, uh, but yeah, I get it. I do get it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so my next one here is that when you just want to peel paint off the wall and you want to drive fast and maybe you want to, you know, say, well, I'm just going to say that for the next, you know, however long the song is that I'm going to hope that there's not a state trooper ahead. And I'm going to say neon nights by black Sabbath. Yeah. That's a jamming. It's just a driver, man. That is a jamming. Yep. Jamming song. Um, this is another one of those songs that I've got that that the whole album is good and i highly recommend if you don't have this in your collection just go buy it get it get it uh but shoot the thrill by acdc oh listen you you talked about albums that you could play and that's one of them start to finish that's one of them that whole album is so yeah. good and um and just jams all the way through um but canon that canon had i had to play this for canon when he was playing travel ball yeah and there were two songs on that playlist that that I said, all right, it's time to get your mind right. And the first song would was um, Lunatic Fringe mm -hmm. by Red Rider. Oh. That was his first song that he'd listened to, and this was before every game. And then the next one was Shoot the Thrill by ACDC. Yeah. And um, my son was a fantastic baseball player, smart. God, he was fun to watch. Yeah, he no longer plays, so I'm reminiscing right now. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just looking back <laughs> on my life. <laughs> uh, he didn't want to go to college to play baseball, and I respected that. Yeah, I get but, now, it. but he's actually going. I mean, listen, listen, this kid right here. <laughs> you, you talk about someone. Uh, you know, so, sometimes the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I mean, this one, fell and sometimes down it the falls hill and, and it rolls roll. away. Um, <laughs> because I can tell you, when it came to uh, at the age that Cannon was, and he went to college, he he is doing phenomenally. And at the age that Chris and I were when we started college, we yeah, did not. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, that was that was that was um, hindsight is twenty twenty, folks. Yeah. And the way Ken is doing it is definitely the way to do it. Um, you can still have a college experience and and actually go to class and actually go to class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knew? Who knew that you actually you know could could, could go to class did and you, you know study? Did you? Did I ever tell you when he made the decision that he wasn't playing baseball in in college? When was that? In the ninth grade. Really? He looked at me deadpan and said, Dad, I am not going to college to play baseball. Wow. And See, I that's just a level of maturity uh, yeah. that he had. And I mean, I just looked at him and I went, okay. All right. Well. Never, never brought up summer ball, never brought up any travel ball after that. Wow. Just, he just played high school ball and finished it out and... I know we're kind of off down a rabbit hole, but I'm yeah. I'm proud of him. Well, for listen, that. I'm proud of him too, man. Yeah, I'm you proud know, proud of him for that. Um, <clears throat> so I have another song here, and that is "Midnight Rendezvous" by the Babies. How did, I wish I knew. How That's that also in Up the Academy. Where's it at? Not the academy. I couldn't tell you. Oh, now, good man. grief! Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how many times have you seen Dude. that movie? When a movie is 40-something years old, you're supposed to remember everything a part of it. Uh, we're going to come back in just a little bit. Chris is going to come back with another one of his favorite road trip songs. This is The Retro Show. Okay, folks, we are back on The Retro Show, and we are doing our favorite road trip and songs for 2023. And we have already gone through quite a few here. Uh, uh, really good ones, folks. So when we have this playlist for you and you want to put that together, it's guaranteed that there's not one, there's absolutely no slow music in here. Two, yeah. there's absolutely no Rick Astley. <laughs> Never going to give you up. <laughs> Never, I just Rick rolled some of you. But anyway, uh, Chris, kick <laughs> us off. Yeah. People, there's people that went, Nope. <laughs> People, I'm done listening Butch, now. Roll with the changes. Or roll with the wagon. yes. Oh, dude, that is. I think that's my favorite Ario Speedwagon song. Now yeah. it's back. Yeah. <laughs> Chris had it. What we'd like to call an over fifty moment. Yeah, yeah. but it's back. Yeah. Roll with the changes is just a fantastic song it's my favorite Ario speedwagon song it is mine too and it, <clears throat> if you sit back and listen to the words it's really really 
well written song. Yeah, lyric lyric wise, it's really cool. Yeah, really cool. So my next one, I'm going to put on there. Uh, I'm going to go with "Get Back" by the Beatles. That that's a driving song. It, it is, is a and it's absolutely one of my favorite Beatles. And I'm a you, Butch. You can testify. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I yeah. love the Beatles. I think the Beatles completely changed music from being something that you dance to to something you just listen to. Right. Oh, um, they hey, were that, monumental. Yes. Um, but that song, you know, it's off of um, one of the last albums they did, and it is fantastic. Yeah, love that song. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so my next one is Wait by... Minute. Didn't you just do Get Back by the Beatles? Oh, I did. See, but you love the Beatles so much, I thought it was yours. Yeah, I mean, you just jumped right in there. I I'm trying to get right two. In. Did you see that? That's how it's I, done, kids. I know. I that know. is how I was it's trying done. To get two. Uncle Chris is having a mo a senior moment over here, and he tried to slide one by me, but <laughs> mine like a steel trap. Yeah, right. Because mine like a steel <clears throat> trap. Rusty and illegal in forty eight <laughs> states. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, the song that that eluded me while I'm going, but came back. Um, Slow ride, fog hat. And you know what? That's one of the things that Debbie said. Debbie, my wife, yesterday. I was talking about this list, and she got she put "Slow Rider" on there. And I went, "No, but I'll have to do that." Yeah, but and then I went, "Chris has got you back, baby." Yeah, but then you got it. You got it on there. Uh, Fog Hat is one of those bands. Uh, I'm so glad I got to see them live. Uh, I, I saw them back in '83. With and, who? Uh, they were opening for. I know you know Kansas. Or tri is Kansas or Triumph? Yeah, One of those be two. Kansas. Uh, I think it was. They Kansas. wouldn't be opening for Trump. Yeah, I think they were opening for Kansas, and it was just a phenomenal show. They were they good were, band. Yeah, really good band from back in the seventies. Late from back 70s, in the seventies, and you know they they especially. make music now that still just stands the test of time. So slow ride. Yep. Yep. Okay, now it's my turn, and I can go. Get it, girl. It. China Grove. Doobie the, Brothers. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I tell people this all the time. If you get a chance to go see the Doobies. Well, and you not, and I did. It is not even the original band. That ain't it. it that is one of the Actually, the a lot of those guys are the old original guys. Not always all of them, on. No, they're, they're missing some. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, if you want a, a concert where it sounds exactly like the album. Yep. Those Doobie guys, Brothers. they come out. There's no fanfare. They're in jeans and t-shirts, and buddy, they jam. Yeah, and there's Pete. Uh, so what you got next? That that was you. That was me. Oh, um, rocking into the night, thirty eight special. Yep, that's a road trip song. It that it's thirty eight special. It's thirty eight special. But that <laughs> you know, but that even has you know uh, cruising down the motorway. Got my girl by my side. You know, you can't get better road trip than that. Yeah, man, for sure. You okay? So my next one uh, that, that that I have is, is is maybe one that maybe some of you folks haven't heard of before, but it's going to be on the playlist. You'll be able to hear it, and that is "New Tattoo" by Saving Abel. I've never heard that. I may have heard it, but I don't know what it oh, is. Oh, you probably never heard it. Like, like I said, I, I I just like to throw some things in there that I know are good road trip songs. Dude, and this you will is, love this. This is, this is music. Yeah, you'll music love this. Music is very um, yeah. personal. you got to remember that, guys. You can't come down on people because uh, they like a different music. Yeah. Than you. See, I, the only thing I, I can't that. personally, and my kids know this, is I can't do rap music because... I was a vocalist. If they don't sing, I'm not interested. Yeah. I'm not. And now I'm not taking anything away from um, the heavy duty rappers out there. They have a talent that they I have a talent to I be able to rhyme and do that. Do. Yeah. I could never do. And I, but, I'm impressed with that. But as far as music goes, yeah, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah, me either. And, and, and like I said, it's, it's, it's not a slam. If you like rap, Fantastic, yep. but you're not going to find any on our road miracle, trip list. baby. <laughs> but you're not going to find anything. We can do what we want. If you want to like rap, you just you just listen to you some rap. But yeah, if you don't right. want to, you can listen to Skinner. But don't come know. to my house expecting to play rap because yeah. I'll tell you to turn that off. Yeah, <laughs> there's a word in there, and I just kept Butch from bleeping it out. Thanks. Uh, there's already some things I got to edit, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to do uh, next on 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 the list here. Uh, and that is uh, Mr. Blue Sky by ELO. 
And all I got in my head is Blue Sky by the Allman Brothers, and that's not it. No, it's not it. That's not it. (laughs) You know this song, and let me tell you where you heard it. Remember the second Guardians music when Baby Groot is dancing at the beginning of the movie? Yes. That's the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good tune. It's It's Baby Groot dance music. So... Yeah. Yep. Uh, Call Me the Breeze, Leonard Skinner. Yes. Another good Skinner song. Another good Skinner song. You can't uh, who go was wrong. that written by, Butch? Do you know? Call Me the Breeze. Uh, I do not know, but I bet you do. I do know, and it was written by um, a guy whose name I can't recall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you built all this up to, to, to that. Um, it's like. It, it, he, yeah. was, he was good friends with Eric Clapton. And. Um, J.J. Kale. That's who J. it is. J.J. Kale. Okay, it was good. J.J. Kale. J.J. Kale Look, wrote... Look, you've gone and totally redeemed yourself. <laughs> J.J. Kale wrote um, Call Me the Breeze. He wrote Cocaine. He wrote After Midnight. Um, J.J. lived over in Tulsa. Right. And J.J. would slide over into Fayetteville and just pop into a club. I remember... And okay, that's where I heard that name before. And he would just play. Um, he wasn't hurting for money. Yeah, because he... <laughs> He wrote <laughs> when you write those songs. songs like that, you're not hurting for okay. Money. When uh, you said the song Cocaine that Eric Clapton now, made famous. I, I'm gonna recommend to y'all. Uh JJ actually recorded that song. Uh, there's an anthology album that's got a lot of great, great music. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't suggest it for road trip songs on all of them. Um, but JJ was a fantastic guitar player. And listen to the Leonard Skinner version and then go listen to JJ's version. And I love them both because awesome. JJ is such a great guitar player. Now you're talking Leonard Skinner. You've got a huge band, yeah, and they're playing. But this is just JJ just and a bass a guitar and a drums. You yeah. know, he's just jamming. So, I uh, <laughs> you mentioned the song uh, "Cocaine" that uh, he made famous. Do you remember that group Pinker and Bowden? Pinker and Bowden, <laughs> two comedians. <laughs> I knew what you were. I knew where you were going. So let me go ahead and chase this rabbit here. There, there is a great, and and they don't do anything anymore. I think probably they're, they're, are they're they probably on getting, Spotify. They, I don't know if they are or not. You have to look that yeah, up. But if they are, I'm gonna put this in there. Yeah, gotta go in there. Uh, Pinkard and Bowden were a comedy music duo. Now Sandy Pinkard was actually a songwriter, and like you mentioned, JJ Kill, who wrote great songs. Sandy Pinker wrote uh, a lot of country. <laughs> Songs like "You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma." Yeah, it's on. The- he wrote that. Richard Bowden played on like Linda Ronstadt albums, and you know uh, all these different musical groups. Well, they got. All right, well, <laughs> I actually have to do that through Spotify, uh, but <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> or, or they'll take it out. Uh, but they did a. But uh, long story short, Pinkerton Bowden did song parodies, so they took the song "Cocaine" and they said, "Well, what if Eric Clapton?" was from West Memphis, Arkansas. And so they wrote the song, Propane, (laughs) which we're going to play right now. Oh, my gosh. And so... uh, Is that not fantastic? I know. Is that not just... I mean... It's hilarious. did Did you go with me to see them live? Was that me and you? I saw them first live, and I said, you got to go see them. Okay. And I and I loaned you my cassette, and you ended up going, and you actually got the I got a t-shirt the, at the one time. Jimi Hendrix and yep. Eddie Albert, yes, yes, <laughs> which I don't want even want to try to explain right now. Shirt that that uh, for Pinkerton Bowden. We've given Pinkerton Bowden more press than they've had in, in years. years. Yep. And we they, loved those they, guys. They, they were hilarious. They were. I what can't you got, we man? Down that rabbit hole. Um, wasn't that just me calling? From, call me the breeze. Oh, it, yes, was. it was. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, okay. Turn. Uh, Run to the Hills, Iron Maiden. Yeah, man, you can't go wrong with Iron Maiden if you want to jam, for yeah. sure. Um, actually, that's another trip to Tulsa for me. That was here. another uh, That was another road trip. It was Speaking another road trip. Speaking of road trips. Um, great. I, I highly recommend if y'all have never been to a heavy metal show. Iron Maiden's a good one to Iron go Iron Maiden's a good one to go Eddie is something to see. Yeah, sure. Eddie is something to see. Uh, okay, the uh, first time I ever saw Iron Maiden, this is hilarious. I don't know if you were at that show either. No, but remember I, we, the only time I've seen Iron Maiden is the time we saw him. Okay, so now, let me tell you about the Steven, first time. Now, Steven, huge Iron Maiden fan. Yeah. Um, Your cousin. Yeah, my cousin, Be- the Beef. He uh, he's a huge Iron Maiden fan. We The first time I saw him, and it's the first time – uh, Debbie, my wife, we dated through high school. It was the first time she ever saw the, a, a like real rock concert. 
And so I took her to this, and we went with uh, her older you, brother. Rick. You took her to see Iron Maiden. We took. Well, here's the thing: oh, Iron boy. Maiden was very new at the mm-hmm. time. That just just gotten uh, Bruce Dickinson as their lead singer. Was this after, the number of the Beast tour? Yeah. yeah, and they were opening for uh, Point Blank, who was opening for Thirty Eight Special. So they put a British heavy metal group with two Southern rock bands. And for some reason it worked because that was the first time I'd seen them in concert. And I was out like the next day buying their album. But that was like the first real metal band that I ever saw. And I went, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't have to buy a... Uh, Iron Maiden album because every time I was with Steven, we were listening to You you were listening to Iron Maiden? Yeah. 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 All right, man, what you got? So, Def Leppard, Rock of Ages. Oh. Yep. That, that's another album, children. That, that you can listen Pyromania, to. Def Leppard Pyromania is an yep. awesome album. Oh, gosh, man. You look on there, and the thing about Pyromania and Hysteria that followed it, more songs, I think, were released as singles than weren't. Yes, off of those albums. Yes. So yeah, I mean you'll you'll be able to listen to those. Photograph, uh, yeah. great tune yeah. on there. I mean I'm I'm just throwing that out there. Butch is looking at me ugly because now he's. Gonna... I can't put them all in. <laughs> I'm already going to spend a half a day editing this. But you remember um, how huge that song was yeah. when when it came out? I mean, oh, the Cleveland Mountain Glowman. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. All it, right. <laughs> got but, something to say. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw... Um, have we mentioned Ramblin' Man yet? No, I was looking at that. Um, yep. You can't go wrong with nope. the Brothers Band on just nope. about... No, and Ramblin' Man's a great, is, is a great road tripping song for sure. Like literally, if you want just music to sit around and listen to, go by, you know, just go by the greatest hits. All My Brothers Greatest yep. Hits. That whole, everything on there, I everything promise there's you, is going to be great. Everything there is going to be really, really good. Uh, let's see. So, what you got next? Ohio players, roller coaster. Roller coaster. I love. love. Roller coaster. <laughs> Great tune. Yeah, roller coaster of love. <laughs> Highly uh, recommend it. Yep, roller coaster of love. You used to dance under that name too, I think, didn't you? No, Big Baloney. Oh, okay, big baloney. That's great. <laughs> you know, you said that on a couple of shows back, and it was a joke. And now I've kind of, I've kind of, t- I think I'm gonna get a shirt made. The big baloney. The big baloney. <laughs> yeah, that was the yeah that was one of the kids from Caper, the old TV show from the '70s. Yeah, kids. the one that I've never heard of. I don't you've think never it heard of. It's a Mandela effect. It's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to close out with. Ace of Spades by yeah. Motorhead. Yeah. Now, that's one of those songs that back in the day I didn't care for it that much. But the older I get, the more I like it because I like more, uh, I don't know, maybe more punk-like aggressive stuff than I used to. So you're going to close the show out with Motorhead. Well, I'm giving you the chance to close out with something. Are you sure? Well. So here's here's another metal song for you folks since he brought out the Motorhead Enter the Sandman by Metallica. Oh, Enter Sandman by Metallica. Off of the Black Album. Yeah. And another album that the whole album's good if you just want to jam. Literally, um, going into Deer Camp, if you got off the pavement, it was four-wheel drive. Hope to God you didn't get stunk if you didn't have a winch. Yeah. Um, But, dude, (laughs) <laughs> that black album would be cranked to the ceiling, man, just four wheeling, just balls <laughs> to the wall, just going, go, 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 go. So much fun. I saw them in 2019. Uh, and it was one of the best concerts I've ever seen. They're incredible. They're, They're an incredible, incredible band. live band. Uh, and you talk about musicality and being mm-hmm. able to play. People that put down metal music don't understand metal music. Well, I mean, it's the same people that don't like rap music. Yeah. We don't understand rap music. Yeah. I get it. I mean, yeah. I do get it. But for us, you know, I think both of us are big guitar people. So yeah. you get that crank guitar, <laughs> you know, and you're just in. You're yeah. immediately in. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> Did I you just dismiss me? 
<laughs> Did you really just just? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, All man. Right. It's been All a long day. All right, I was shut up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, monkey boy. Men are talking now. But we got. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you have really, really good friends. Yes, it you is. You can say stuff. You can like say that stuff like that, like "you ugly warthog." <laughs> I take that as a compliment. That's right. And he might say, hey, do "You, you and Brett, you know, whatever." For you people out there that are listening, there's only one person in this world that will get this, except for the other guy sitting in this room and maybe his brother. But you ain't nothing but a big, greasy, green, gray dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, that's how men show affection to each other. Seriously. I ain't even kidding. You know who you are. Yeah. You know, in fact, you're listed in my phone as dog tick. Dog tick. <laughs> You know why I call you a tick? Anyway, we'll <laughs> stop right there. Um, but <laughs> Don't want to have to be editing this. I know. Uh, I lied a while ago when I said it was my last one. I'm going to go ahead and close out with some guys that I actually know uh, a little bit. Uh, we're, we're not best friends or anything, but we know each other. And, uh, you know, on site. And that is by a band called Bowling for Soup. Uh, who you've actually seen with me before, yeah, and that, it is Ohio. That Com- is a story for a different podcast. Well, uh, no, never to be told. <laughs> uh, but it's a song called Ohio, Come Back to Tech. It's, it's so right because Jarrett, the, the guy that sings, uh, that, that is basically the leader of the band uh, and, and principal songwriter, uh, says, uh, he, he prefaces this, he said, we have a song about Texas, and it's called Ohio. And so it's called Ohio, Come Back to Texas. And I love the song. It is a up-tempo song. It's a great driving song. It's done by uh, some guys that I really like. I mean, like, really like on a personal level. They so, were actually fun in concert to yep, watch, too. They were they good. Are. It was a small venue, and it was cool. Yep. Dude, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm sorry about all the rabbit holes again. But I, listen. You know what? I think people it have is what it to is. expect <laughs> that we're going to chase rabbits every once in a while. And it's, it's just going to happen. So, uh, listen, guys, thanks for joining us. This was our big road tripping episode of the retro show. If you get a chance to go on a road trip, uh, please realize that you can, uh, that I will have a complete list and even some things that we didn't, uh, some songs we didn't put out there, uh, up on the website under the show notes, and you will be able to see the complete playlist and you will have the enhanced version of the podcast. It's like a podcast and a playlist. It's a pod list. It's a pod list. It's a pod list. So, and so those songs that we mentioned that, that aren't getting played, I highly recommend going back and just trying to find those and listen to those yep. also. Uh, put them on your playlist. Put them on your I, playlist. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Yep. And drive safely. Yep. Drive safely. Jeff, <laughs> don't do the whole, uh, yeah. when Top Gun came out, Danger Zone, driving 9,000 miles an hour because you were driving an F-14 Tomcat. Exactly. <laughs> he buzzed the tower. 